What's up everyone, Erica here and I'm back today with another video for you. If you are new to my channel, welcome, and I would really love it if you would subscribe. I do Disney content, makeup content, mom content, vlog content, so if any of those sound interesting to you, I would love for you to subscribe and join our little family here. So for today's video, I have a very different video in store for you, and I'll be honest, it's one that I have not seen put out there before, so um, an exclusive, if you will. This is an idea that I've had for a really long time now and I just felt like it would be super beneficial to do. So, as you saw by the title of this video, I am doing kind of a catch-all, getting to know everything about yours truly, but uh, this video is kind of geared towards my fellow Disney YouTuber friends. If you're watching this video and you are a Disney YouTuber, hi, friend, <laughs> you either have done are a part of or will eventually do some sort of box swap. That is kind of a common reoccurrence in the Disney YouTube community. They are so much fun to do. Um, they are kind of a big deal in the Disney YouTube community. But um, I will say that it isn't always easy being on the other end of the box swaps. So if you're watching this and you are not a Disney YouTuber, you're still welcome to watch to get to know a little bit about me uh, but if you are a Disney YouTuber you know what it is you know that most of the time you will receive a questionnaire and you fill it out and you're very specific on what your likes and your dislikes are uh, and then you get sent a questionnaire for the person that you are gifting your box to but I will also say that I personally have been in box swaps that uh, there is not a questionnaire involved and that makes it kind of challenging. So I've noticed that I need to do a lot of digging on somebody, which is totally fine. I do and I have enjoyed doing that. I would tell my friends that like, I wish that there was just a video that would just be on everyone's channel that was just a catch all Like here are all my interests because sometimes you come across a channel that has a lot of like pin trading videos, which is great, but I feel like I can't always get the most information out of those videos. So if every YouTube channel had this kind of video, just laying it all out there, everything that interests you, everything that does not interest you, I feel like it would just make everybody's life so much easier. So um, I kind of came up with a couple of questions, if you will, and I'm going to breeze through the questions fairly easily. I just really wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about why I'm putting this together. So I am tagging everybody. I am tagging seriously every one of my Disney YouTube friends that is out there. I'm tagging Saria, Rowan, Heather, and Heather. Heather from the Sassy Cinderella, Heather over at the Disney Housewife, Beth at the Collection Years Club, Enchanted Rita, Miss Cherry's Channel, Awesome Dawson, Paola, I'm tagging AJ and BJ, I am tagging Twinkle Bell Terran, Irresistible Magic, My Friend Valencia, I am tagging Meg at Mickey's Magic, I am tagging uh, The Game Boys, Charisma Star, I am tagging Christie's Corner, Karen's USA Adventures, I am tagging Finding Disney, I am tagging Cinder Alley Loves Disney, I am tagging Nina over at Wrestling with Disney, I am tagging Abby and Hope of the Disney Sisters, Allison over at Pixie Dust and Parenting, Cat over at Perfectly Cat, Holly over at Holly Ever After, Coral over at Coral Joy Travel, Lisa over at Pixie Dust and Pins, I'm just tagging everybody. If you're watching this and I forgot you for some strange reason I am so sorry uh, there's a lot of Disney youtubers in this community <laughs> so if anybody ever gets my name in a draw for the box swap like you only have to watch this video and um, I'm gonna try to be as descriptive as possible so if you're watching this video and I'm tagging you and you're gonna film this video I encourage you to do the same just be as detailed as you can be to uh, help your future box sender yeah. So as I mentioned, I did have this idea for a really long time. That's why I did take advantage of doing those 30 facts about me for my 30th birthday. I will leave that video linked. I just think it's so important to have certain videos like that that can really just get your audience to know a little bit about you, but also to simplify box swap because I feel like they can be challenging from time to time. <laughs> I also feel like having this video on your channel will really eliminate the guessing that your gifter has to do. So if they're kind of like on the fence about a couple of things and you're super descriptive, it'll just take the guesswork out of it for them. So a couple of things I wanted to mention before I get started, I guess is kind of like a disclaimer. 
I don't want anyone to feel like if I say that I don't like something, it has nothing to do with the boxes I've received. Every box that I have received in a box swap has been incredible. So that has nothing to do with it. Um, I think a lot of factors come into not wanting items anymore, such as, uh, for example, socks. One thing that I do not want to receive any more of are socks. Um, that is not to be said for me this past month because I love socks. I love socks, but if you saw my Secret Santa cozy sock exchange, Elise sent me a billion pairs of socks. So I am covered in the sock department. So I kind of just quickly wanted to run through that. Collections expand, taste change. It, there's just so many reasons why you could not want an item anymore. So I kind of wanted to throw that out there. So if you're a Disney YouTuber and you're watching this and you're like, well, Erica, I don't want to say I hate getting socks because somebody gifted me socks like no it's not that's not what this is meant for we're not here to shade anybody it's nothing like that it's strictly just if you were to design a box for yourself ideally what would you absolutely love and what would you maybe hope that your person steered away from I also quickly wanted to go over exceptions because there are always exceptions when it comes to this uh, like for example if I sit here and I tell you I don't want pins um, but there is a pin of the partner's statue or anything to do with Walt, I need that. So there's always going to be exceptions. Like I'm going to use Saria, my friend Saria, for example. She makes ears. She makes a ton of ears. I think for her, she wouldn't want to receive fabric ears because she can make those. I think she ideally just likes to receive like 3D ears if she's ever going to get a pair. But I do know that she received some fabric ears that were just like incredible and blew her away so another disclaimer is that there are definitely exceptions to everything so the first the first question is going to be uh favorite characters that you love merch on no matter what so like there aren't really that many exceptions to this if this character is on an item you wanted so that for me is of course going to include just walt disney anything with walt I need it so that's just always a safe bet for me same thing with Mickey so anything with Mickey but especially Steamboat Willie because he is just my favorite love Steamboat Willie Mickey I'm gonna say Remy from Ratatouille Mary Poppins the original the next category is gonna be movies you always love merch from as well so if it has anything to do with these movies like you want the merch from it so I am going to go with up the rescuers because honestly there isn't that much merch from this movie so I would love it either way <laughs> uh, I'm also going to go with a goofy movie Ratatouille and probably Coco I feel like I'm missing some more but I'm just I think those are safe bets for me next category is going to be merch you always want like this is just always on your want list so that for me is going to consist of Funko Pops Jim Shore figurines spirit jerseys most home decor items most Disney home decor I love Disney home decor Christmas ornaments, any art pieces, and I'm talking like anything. I'm talking like a poster from the Wonderground Gallery, an actual painting. I love all art. And anything that has to do with Walt Disney that I have already mentioned a thousand times. Also, anything that has to do with the Disneyland castle, Disneyland overall, just yes. Disneyland is my home park, so that's why, in case you were curious. So to follow that, the next category is going to be favorite attractions and parks slash do you like merch based off of these items so I'm gonna kind of leave this category up to you you don't have to answer uh, your favorite attractions and your favorite parks because if you don't want merch from your favorite attraction or your favorite park then there's no need to talk about it I like I just said I love Disneyland it's my home park um, anything that's like nostalgic or old-school Disney is just has my name all over it I love everything Walt I love everything vintage Disney so uh, anything classic is kind of my home zone that makes zero sense that's kind of the merch that I love so along with that anything that has to do with the castle I love Sleeping Beauty's castle and I love Cinderella's castle so anything that has to do with the castle I'm in for that as well and just for fun my favorite park is Disneyland and at Walt Disney World my favorite park is Epcot the next question or category is going to be the collection you want to grow the most so that for me is going to be my Funko Pops and my Jim Shores Another collection that I'm always loving to add to is any sort of D23 
Disney makeup collaboration. I try really hard not to purchase any makeup for myself because <laughs> that collection is a hefty one so I don't really need to keep adding to that but to receive it as a gift is a whole different thing so if you are looking to get me some makeup I would happily take any sort of Disney collab so right along with those collections uh, the next category or the next title or question whatever you want to call it is going to be if you are unsure about my collections or you're unsure about what I have please contact these friends. So this is the portion of the video where you, Disney YouTuber or YouTuber or whoever, will insert a couple of people that you know that know your collection very well. Or if you don't have anybody like that, just feel free to leave a name that your gifter can contact and that person can reach out to you to not spoil the surprise. So for me, no surprise here, you can reach out to Saria over at Dream It DIY or Rowan over at the Disney Damsels. Both of those girls know my collections pretty well. If you have any questions on what I own, then feel free to reach out to those two and I'm pretty sure that they will be able to give you a good answer. And honestly, I kind of wanted to throw this in for mine. I personally don't really care. If you really, if you see something that you really like for me and it's a specific thing, but you want to know if I have it, if you ask Saria or Rowan and they don't know and they have to ask me, Erica, do you have this specific item? I know that it does kind of ruin the surprise, but honestly, if it's that, like, I need it, just go ahead and ask. It's okay. I, I, I won't be offended, I promise. So the next category is something that I feel is very important. This one is things to definitely not get me. <laughs> so I think that this is important. I'm sorry if this comes off rude. I think it's such an important thing to put out there because if people are worried about hurting each other's feelings, there's nothing wrong with being honest. So take it with a grain of salt. You can answer this if you want. You don't have to answer all of them. You know how this goes. And as I mentioned before, there are always exceptions. So please remember that and keep that in mind. So for me, that is going to be pins. I am a pin collector, but um, I always feel like guilty when people go out and spend money on pins for me. I don't wear them out to the park. So it's like, I kind of like feel bad for my pins that they don't get the recognition because I just have them sitting here. So that's kind of something that I just don't love to collect. I do love to collect it, but I just don't feel like I should ask that of people to give to me. I hope that makes sense. The next item is going to be socks. As I mentioned previously, I have a plethora of Disney socks, <laughs> like 75 pairs, so no more socks for me. And then plushies. That is another item that we have a plethora here. Uh, if you don't know this about me, my daughter is a year and a half and she receives all of the plushies. So we do not need any more uh, please and thank you. So the next category is going to be accessories. Uh, this is where you kind of just spill it all. What do you like? What don't you like? So for me, I love really dainty jewelry. I don't like anything too gaudy. I'm usually wearing studs or a very dainty necklace. I do usually wear silver for the most part, but I do love gold as well. I do not like fanny packs. That is an accessory and a trend I cannot get behind. I am sorry. I don't know if that just makes me old and I can't keep up with the trends, but here we are. Also, I'm going to say no to cell phone accessories because I am, I don't want to say I'm picky, but I have a plethora of cell phone accessories. So I, I that's just not something that you need to spend your money on for me. I have a ton. So uh, you can go ahead and pass on cell phone accessories. So kind of a random fact that I feel like should be thrown in here is what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. So if you are looking to buy something for me and let's say you're in between choosing a shirt for me and there is an orange shirt and a blue shirt, go for the blue. But uh, since we're talking about shirts, I love white t-shirts. That's kind of my favorite, I guess, white t-shirts. But my favorite color is blue. Okay, so the very last category that I am including is kind of the catch-all of catch-alls. This is going to be just additional information. This is where you can share your other fandoms, your other passions. I have a ton, so I am about to list them off in a very quick manner. So brace yourself, here we go. All of these items that I am about to mention, I am a huge fan of, huge, huge. I love Harry Potter. I love The Office. I love Schitt's Creek. 
I love makeup. I love Michael Jackson. I love Selena. I love the band Queen. I love coffee. Some of my favorite movies are Dirty Dancing and the Jurassic Park series. My favorite snack are cookie butter cookies from Trader Joe's. I don't know if I need to put myself out there like that, but whatever. I mean, we're just, it's, we're spilling it all, right? Some other fun stuff. I love my dogs. I have a dachshund named Zoe and I have a mutt of a little pup named Dobby. I also love my daughter and my husband, so do with that what you will. To wrap up this video, I did want to give another suggestion. Even if you don't feel like filming this video and you are a Disney YouTuber, say you already have a video that lists facts about you or that shows the collections you already have. I highly suggest putting those videos in a playlist on your YouTube channel. That way, whoever has you can go look for a playlist called Getting to Know Me fun facts about me, whatever you want to call it, a really great place for your gifter to go and just watch a few videos of yours instead of sitting there and binging every single video to find out one fact about you. <laughs> all right, so that is it. That is all of my information for my permanent questionnaire, my permanent box swap Disney YouTuber questionnaire. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. So that is going to do it for all of the questions and categories that I have for you. I hope that this video didn't come off as like, I'm asking for these things and you better get them for me or like a narcissistic video. I just thought that this would be helpful for pretty much everybody in the Disney community to have on their YouTube channel. I just think it's a really smart thing to have and a very, just a helpful little tool to help anybody that might be purchasing for you. If you're watching this and you are gonna film this video and I didn't tag somebody, you tag them. Literally, I want everyone to upload this video just so they have it on their channel. Let's be helpful to one another. There's already plenty of things that we deal with in the world that is hard enough. So let's make just this one thing a little easier. And if you're watching this video because you have me to shop for, uh, I hope that this video was helpful for you. As always, I wanna thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch this video and I hope to see you back for the next one. Bye. I talk too much. My jaw is like going to fall off.